here is a short axis view. And here is a biplane with the short axis view being the primary plane. And the move I just did there was a lateral tilt. I was here and I did a lateral tilt towards the patient's uh, right side. Uh, and the reason I did that is um, this is kind of <laughs> the reverse of what you were just talking about, Janine. <laughs> Uh, instead of the uh, bicaval view being the primary view, here the short axis view is the primary view. So uh, Jody, uh, this secondary view, uh, in order to, it, it's showing the fossa, but in order to get it to be a bicaval view, what would I have to do to it? You have to decrease the angle for your- Yeah, right, yeah. of the secondary plane. Yeah. There, that's what I did. Let me do it again for you. It's this number here, watch it, there. So uh, this is kind of cool because um, uh, you'd uh, be able to uh, see tenting in both planes simultaneously, yeah. uh, hopefully. But uh, what if, uh, let me freeze this for a second, just for uh, uh, the convenience of talking about it while it's still. Uh, what if the tenting was right there? Well, if it was right there and you saw it in this view, but uh, you wouldn't see, you would not see it in the secondary view, the bicaval view. So what would you have to tell the echocardiographer to do so he or she could see it in both views simultaneously? Janine? Um, could you use that centering technique that you talked about? Or would you move the plane? To yes, the plane? you'd move the plane. You okay. exactly. You just take this line and you drag it over there to where the tenting is. Okay. So that wouldn't affect your view of the tenting in this view, but all of a sudden now you would see it in this view because this view is, uh, just this plane seen on end in this view. So now all of a sudden you'd see it in both views, which is good. The, the issue with flipping back and forth, uh, which everybody does from view to view, is that the needle can move uh, as you're flipping back and forth. So in a perfect world, you would like to see it in both views simultaneously so that there's no loss of the image of the tenting position as you're flipping back and forth. And that's why people like to use biplane when they're going transeptal. Um, okay. So here is the virtual reality of the uh, X plane or the biplane. And um, the blue screen is uh, shown as a blue insonation plane here. And the mint screen is the uh, mint insonation plane here. So uh, this cut here through the heart right here, Jody, is that the short axis or the bicaval cut? Sorry, from the blue or from the mint? Uh, from the yeah. blue. From the in blue other is... Yes, in other words, this, I've, I've sectioned this heart using the plane itself. And if I sectioned it with the short axis view or the bicaval view? The short axis view. Yeah, yeah, you can see that, that this cut, this kind of bold cut through the heart looks exactly like, uh, the actual short axis view that's being generated from the purple cut plane. So let me uh, now show you if we cut into the heart using the plane that's generating the secondary plane, which is the bicaval plane. 
Now back to short axis. Let me just do that again. Here's the bicaval cut. And here's the short axis cut. Okay, um, what if the uh, tenting was right here, right there, Janine? Uh, would I see it in ne neither view, the short axis view, or in the bicable view, or both? Let me um, zoom. Let me zoom out a little bit to show you what you're looking at. Okay. You would Which, see it in the short axis. Yeah, you'd um, see it in the short axis. Would you see it in the bicaval view? I can't see the mint where the mint's at. Oh, you can't. You're probably on, on a small screen. Uh, let me show you where the mint is cutting into the faucet. Watch my mouse. Mm -hmm. See that? Oh, that's that's the mint it. cut, yeah. Okay, so you wouldn't see it in by cable. Yeah, I'm looking at it like on a 65 inch screen. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> so, and you're probably on a 13 inch laptop. So yeah, that's, exactly. yeah, so you wouldn't see it in the by cable view. Okay, so uh, what would you have to do, Jody, so that you saw it in both screens? You have to adjust for your X plane and drag it so that you're intersecting Yes, you're intersecting, yeah. you're intersecting the point. So would that be more right tilt or less right tilt, lateral tilt? So that would be more at, right? Yeah, it'd be more right tilt. It would be, yeah. yes, exactly. Um, Okay. And when you say right tilt, that means that little line. Um, this line that's here. Line that you're dragging. Okay. Yes, right. And uh, when this line is right here, remember the number we saw that was 20 this morning? If yes. it lines right here, it's zero. That little uh, icon that I showed you. This okay. would be zero and 20 would be somewhere over here, something okay. like, like that. It, that would be positive 20 and this would be negative 20 over, okay. over here. It's not important uh, if it's positive or negative, but uh, it goes from zero to 30 degrees on most machines. You can't go beyond 30. Um, okay. So uh, let's say that we had tenting right at the intersection of the two planes. We had tenting right at the intersection of the two planes. So it would show up on both the primary and the secondary plane. And let's say it was a mitral clip case. And now we wanted to measure the height above the mitral valve in the four chamber view, uh, what, what could we do uh, without um, uh, losing both views of the tenting? How could we develop the four chamber view um, without losing, let's say our short axis view, which is the primary view? What could we do, Jody? We could sacrifice the bicaval view yeah. and make it into a four chamber view. And how would we do that? Can you go the opposite and do yeah, 90 to 180? Yes, right. Yeah, that's exactly what you do. That's exactly what you do. And the only downside is, is that you get a, a flipped. Uh. And so you go to 180 and then you make your measurements. The only caveat is, is that uh, you're not measuring height above this valve, you're measuring height above this valve here. Mm 